What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today we're doing another organizing uh, video for you guys. Um, I know a lot of people are asking how I set up my pack outs, how I am more efficient on the job. No matter the job that you're doing, it doesn't matter if you're a prosumer, a DIY guy, or a pro that does it for a living, you need to have a little bit of organization in your life. And a lot of people go, well, you know, I have like more organized chaos. Get out of here. You're just inefficient. You have crap everywhere. And I, I hate hearing people say, you're so organized I can't find anything. I can't roll my eyes far enough into the back of my head. You are more organized. You are more efficient. You are faster. You get the job done quicker. It is on to the next one and making more money. So today I'm going to show you exactly how I organize my screws in my pack out. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. <clears throat> All right, so I decided that this was actually the best camera angle for this. So I have all of my uh, pack out trays set up and I have the size already put in there. I have coarse, or I have uh, fine and coarse. I have the sizes uh, put in the back of the little trays with a label maker. <clears throat> Each and every single fastener, I have different bit holders with them. So this is an Irwin bit holder. Um, and I have a Shockwave Milwaukee bit sitting in here for all of my Phillips fasteners. So whenever I need to reach for a screwdriver or a, a, a Phillips drive, hey, I've got some extra Phillips bits from Milwaukee. Um, I will be doing a video on the carbide bits that uh, are the uh, Phillips in the future, so look forward to that. Rolling on over to some of my bigger, like T25 uh, fasteners, some GRKs. Okay, I have another, a completely separate bit driver that goes in the impact. I have it ready to rock and roll anytime I need to grab T25 bits. Okay, some, uh, you know, T20s. I have a completely separate uh, bit holder just for my T20s, my T15s. You know, you get into your Tapcons and you've got your, I've got a Milwaukee 5 16 you know, um, uh, magnetic bit for that. So uh, here another Irwin I have just for backup if something happens. Uh, I can always reach for the trusty Malco uh, that flips around from quarter inch to five sixteenths, you know you can you can use that. Um, I always have something available. This is exactly how I set up my screws um, and all of those things for uh, my pack out here. So I hope you guys uh, get what I'm saying there. All right, guys, I hope you like that short, down and dirty video uh, when it comes to organizing my fasteners and exactly how I do it. If you'd like to see more organize or organizing. <laughs> organizing things in the future and exactly how I do them, put it in the comments below. I don't know unless you tell me. So uh, as always, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Um, interact with me in the comments. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.